Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So in today's episode of Moose's Machinery, what we're going to be covering is the Sterrett 124 inside micrometer and a couple different methods of internal bore measuring. Uh, we're going to demonstrate why we're not using snap gauges on this. And that is because my snap gauges are not big enough. Now, in this shop, it's relatively uncommon. I work with really large bores like this. So snap gauges are not truly a requirement. Uh, at least that size, I don't really need them. Um, I've set some inside calipers on this. Uh, this is an old wheel bearing that never got used, but got a little rusty, so we're not going to use it. Uh, the Sterrett 124 inside micrometer is basically just a micrometer head. It's not super duper complicated. It has a half inch travel. Uh, this particular one's a little bit worn, unfortunately. It's not brand new. I want to say these are about two and a quarter inches. So this is really just a set and feel. Now, what we're reading on this is these are one and a half to two. So I guess this is really, or no, yeah, these are, um, this is two to two and a half in here. So we're reading just about 250 thousandths, slightly over. Now, what we're just going to do um, is these can be tough to calibrate, these inside mics. That's one of the downsides to them. Uh, you can't trust the direct read on them unless, you know, plus or minus a thousandths is okay, which is unfortunate. Now, what I like to do on these, if I need to be really, really precise, is I have my outside micrometer. So this is just a share to Miko. Um, I pick it because it's really easy to read. It's not because it's more accurate than my daily driver stare it. It's just because my daily driver stare it doesn't have a satin chrome on here. So this is easier for people to read on video. So you see how our reading between the outside mic and the inside mic is about a half a thousandth off. Now I know with this rod that I'm gonna be a half thou um, smaller than what it reads, so it's not a big deal. Now I don't really know how to calibrate these and add length to them. I've never figured it out. So if someone's more knowledgeable about the Sterrett inside micrometers, please share. So these are really cool because we can get quite a large bore in it. Now I'm just going to demonstrate. This is the effectively interchangeable anvil. Now this rod here is for seven to eight inches. So the way it works is you only have a half inch travel on these guys. And instead of giving you a lot more rods than you really need, what you do on these is you have what's a half inch spacer. So you remove this add your half inch spacer. I like to line all the zeros up and snug the set screw back down. And now see, you've got your half inch travel. So this is, this set measures up to an eighth inch inside bore, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I've never actually used it for something that size. And this is not a tool I really put a lot of miles on, for lack of a better term. Now see, this is your two to three inch rod. 
So with the half inch spacer installed, this measures from two and a half to three inches. We are gonna try something because like I said, I've never really gotten the hang of getting this to read dead on. I wanna try setting zero on this guy and let's see if it's screw thread wear. Because this should be two and a half inches exactly right now. We'll just center the camera. So yeah, we're reading a full thousandths undersized with that spacer in. Now, I do wonder if that's because I'm not straight. And that's one of the issues with these. Is that they're really easy to put in not straight. And you have to, when you're using a method like this, you kind of have to take a few measurements. And whichever one's the biggest is the accurate one. So I'm threading it all the way out to three inches now. And I can feel the wear in the middle of the travel. So I don't think it's thread wear that's causing our issue. I think it's wear on the faces, unfortunately. Now the thing is, with use and knowing this, you know, you can just measure across the different sizes and, and it'll tell you what your actual measurement is. Um, just, you know, correcting for it. So it's not actually a huge deal um, because this is a consistent undersized. It's not uh, inconsistent across the range of travel. So that's why it's not the end of the world. It's suboptimal, but it's survivable. I mean, you know, I'm trying to sort of explain this in a way that makes sense to the layman. And now this is just one more method. This is far and away the least user friendly. Uh, these dividers, these spring dividers, this is all about feel. Now with practice on these, I'll usually read within uh, half a thousandths of what my inside mic or snap gauges says they are. The measurement is, but it's all about feel in your left hand, not your right because by the time you feel something through the screw threads, you started to compress them. Now I've got no wiggle here and I already know the measurement and that's one of the issues with some of these measurement methods is it's very easy to wish measurements into existence. And this could easily be a case of that. So that's one of the reasons that I think these spring dividers, these spring calipers are not very user friendly and not, in my opinion, a really recommended method, but they work. And there's more than one way to skin a cat. So I hope this was an interesting video on the Starrett Inside Micrometer and its accessories. So thanks for watching, guys.